Hey guys, what's up? Super excited. The Humvee is coming in today. Uh, I can't believe it. It's been such a long wait. I thought it was like six months, but I think it was like four and a half. But um, still, that's a long time to wait. So um, every time I hear a diesel or anything, I keep looking out the window. It's, it's giving me anxiety. It's crazy. But, um, you know, gonna unveil it. I'll try and get some videos of it coming off the trailer, all that kind of good stuff. Um, Finally get this bad boy in my garage. It's uh, it's gonna look pretty rough, you know. Fair warning. There's you know this is this is ground zero. So um, we'll get there though. It'll be good to get some before pictures as well. Um, but it's coming today, guys. I'm super excited. All right, guys. So I'm just sitting in my Camaro right now, literally waiting for it to uh, for the guy to pull up. Uh, I told him to pull up front out here, and I'd be in the orange Camaro. So it should be literally any minute now. Um, but we will see. We will see. <laughs> Neighbors are going to be very confused. Oh man, the suspense is killing me. All right, guys, here it is. <laughs> the beast looks great. That's fine. Man, this thing looks so good. I was worried, but it looks really clean. It might actually only have 500 miles. My neighbors are probably so confused right now. <laughs> yeah, that thing is... Honestly, can't even believe this is real right now. <laughs> it looks so good. Let's see what the underside looks like. And even like the stickers look pretty new. Yeah, underside looks great, man. I think this thing actually has 500 miles on it. I can't believe that. How you doing? I just bought it. <laughs> How much? Uh, about 12.5 after all the fees and stuff. Yeah, I bought it from the government. Yeah. Have a good one, man. <laughs> Obviously, gonna attract some attention, right? Let's have a look at the motor. How you doing? Actually, I'll get it in my garage first so people don't think I'm a goon out here. Starting it, so this is an M1123. It should actually have a park, which it does. Um, so, hit it to run. You wait for that light to go out. Beautiful, it fires right up, guys. It fires right up. The guy unloading it didn't know that. I was a little worried it wasn't starting, but... Okay, I think that's off for the parking brake. They are automatics. So you just put it into D. Drive. Here we go. Test the brakes. Pull out my mirror. It said it had a soft brake pedal. This definitely does not feel like a soft brake pedal. This is like better brakes than my Camaro. All right, first drive. This is insane, guys. <laughs> I'm driving a Humvee. My Humvee. Wow. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut the video and drive around the neighborhood with two hands. Um, there'll be more driving in the future, don't worry. But uh, I'll, I'll catch you back in the garage. In the garage. So, uh, funny story. Wish I would have got this on video. Although this is the exact reason I didn't want to film for its maiden voyage. I needed two hands. Um, 
I hit the gas and it was really, really slow. And it seemed like it was going up against the throttle stop. And it was only going like three miles an hour. So I was like, what gives, you know? So then I just, being the race car driver I am, I just freaking pushed the pedal a little farther and it got stuck full throttle. <laughs> first drive going through the neighborhood. Luckily, you know, at first I panicked and then I realized, oh wait, it's a Humvee. So I only got up to probably 10 miles an hour before I grabbed the kill switch and shut it off. But uh, yeah, that was interesting. Glad I had two hands for that little debacle. Um, so I've got to see what's up with that. It, it has a traditional cable, um, cable, you know, throttle system, just like a, like a, something with a carburetor. So um, sure, it just needs to be lubed up and all that good stuff. But um, other than that, man, this thing looks incredible. It's so much. I mean, my expectations are blown away. Um, I was prepared for the worst. Um, heard a lot of bad stuff about Gov Planet. And I'm sure, you know, everyone's experience isn't going to be like mine. Knock on aluminum. I still don't, you know, know about any gremlins or anything I got to take care of. Um, but this, I'm convinced this Humvee actually only has 500 miles on it. This won't be hard because it's a Humvee. Um, but I'm going to roll under the truck. There's my creeper. There it is. And I'll, honestly, it's got so much clearance I could crawl under it if I wanted. But I'm just gonna roll under it, and give you guys a face-up view of the underside of a Humvee. This is pretty cool. I might be too zoomed in, so apologies in advance. Here, I'll hold it above my head. But the underside looks really, really good, man. This was cl this is cleaner than my Silverado I had. <laughs> I mean, come on, no complaints. Brakes were better than my Camaro somehow. Uh, really good brakes on these freaking things. Um, there we go. That is a pass through under a Humvee.